quickly go over installing iMacros uh, on the PC. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, I should have the link on the website. Uh, I'm on the Mac myself, and there are a couple of wrinkles uh, when installing iMacros, and let me go over them. Uh, when it does install, it tends to forget um, the paths to the important folders uh, that needed to run. And you can find this stuff right here. Edit Options Paths. You'll probably see this blank, and if it's blank, you're going to have to basically find these folders, and you can find them by going to your user, iMacros is he here, data sources, macros, and whatnot are there. So once you've connected all this to the right folder, bang, off you go. Uh, then it'll work correctly. You also notice uh, on the PC and Mac, it installs all this demo stuff here. And it basically, you know, it fills up most of the space here. Uh, I don't want to throw them out because there are some good uh, tutorials in there or examples that you might use. So to create a folder within the screen here, there's nothing here that says create a folder. What you got to do is go back to the macros folder itself. Give yourself a blank folder. Dump all that in there. And you'll notice that it won't refresh until basically you hit refresh macro list. There you go. Now you got a lot more space to work with. You can add your own uh, things in here. And if you want to go back to the demo stuff, you can. So there you go.